Hey guys, welcome back to another Swords and Magic and Stuff devlog. Today I have Lewis and Joe with me. Lewis is actually a Lewis. I'll let you introduce yourself. Hello. Uh, you might recognize me from a couple previous devlogs. I'm the lead programmer. And Joe. Hello. <laughs> I am the animator and AI programmer. Welcome in, guys. Thanks for coming today. So we are back for devlog episode 22, I think it is, which is crazy. Um, yeah. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about a bunch of different things, including just the state of the game in general. We're going to talk about the new combat stuff, some cool things like skill trees and magic and uh, the soundtrack coming out soon. Um, but first, let's touch on what we just finished up, which was actually the Frostfall event uh, for the during the Steam Winter Sale. We did a big Frostfall event, which is a uh, a cool little um, event we do that opens up a new uh, zone in the in the world. You can go visit. We added a we updated a boss fight that we had in there. Um, we added uh, we did a big a big uh, animal companion overhaul, where you can now. Uh, collect and level up animal companions, uh, which is neat. We added a couple new quests and some furniture and uh, a bunch of new items, including some really rare items that turned out not to be so rare. <laughs> everyone, was, everyone was farming it and they had a lot of fun. It was a pretty cool event. We just wrapped that up and, and, and cleaned it all up. And during the cleanup, we slipped in a couple little features like uh, inventory sorting and, and um, filtering. And we added barbershops to the game. So now you can change your look. And also you can clean up your inventory so you can find all that stuff you hoarded from Frostfall. So. Just casually adding barbershops in a in a small cleanup patch. No big deal. That's what we do. We just randomly get an idea for a feature and then we uh, spend, you know, a week putting it in and, and don't bother testing it at all. And it usually works. <laughs> <laughs> we tested it. It worked. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, the game is in a, a, a good state right now. Um, we just did a, a couple of bug fix patches and now we're going to be kind of in the long haul uh, waiting or working toward this new major combat like refactor update that's coming up soon. Big plans, big plans for combat. I feel like, uh, you know, with with Frostfall kind of the cleanup update, taking out all the Frostfall stuff, uh, it's kind of left everything in a really good position. All the loose ends are more or less tied up, and um, we we have breathing room now to focus on some really big changes. Yeah, very true. So right now our combat is pretty static. I want to call it. Um, you can dodge roll and you can swing your sword uh, with the same animation every time, and you can dual wield two different swords if you wanted to, or a dagger and a sword or whatever. Yeah, so I think there's a, a portion of the player base that's like, yeah, the combat's combat's fine. But then uh, a much larger majority kind of, you know, would like it to be a bit better. And uh, we're all part of that majority, I think, where combat at the moment is uh, is very, very flat, very vanilla. You can, um, you can dodge roll, you can attack, but you know, that's kind of that. So, um, Joe, what are some of the things that you are not happy with the combat system and like, what are you excited about changing? Yeah, so currently the combat system, um, like as we're saying, it's just very, very flat and very um, undynamic. You just kind of swing your sword around. There's not much else going on. There's not many like decisions to be made during combat besides just roll attack, roll attack. Um, and one of the changes that I'll be kind of helming is a new combo system um, we're all excited about. Um, so we're, we're going to aim for a three attack combo for pretty much every weapon type. Uh, and that'll entail not just, you know, additional attack animations, but also additional, um, I guess, effects that those attacks might do with a combo. Be it more damage or higher crit chance or even like extra range as you like proceed in the combo um so just like kind of flavor up spice up the combat a little bit and not just make it more visually appealing but also um have like a mechanical change as well yeah and add to that decision making right because if you've got like two light hits that lead into a heavy hit 
suddenly you have to make a choice about whether you're going to keep following through with the combos, or maybe now is the time, now's the time to dodge roll. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's going to be a welcome change, and it'll make it'll, it'll just kind of add a little spice to to that really stale like attack swing we have right now. So, and I, I imagine this was also going to introduce because we're redoing a lot of the uh, attack animations. We'll also be introducing more unique attack animations for different weapon types. So yeah, speaking of different weapon types, um, one of the biggest reasons why we're doing this whole change is because right now we have 15 different types of weapons. I believe could be 14. Um, probably be 15 or 16 when we're done with this whole system anyway. Uh, and so what happens is if you've chosen to focus on swords, for example, and then you spend a couple hours in the game and you happen to come across a, a bunch of different weapons, uh, but let's say you're level five in swords already and you haven't leveled anything else up, it means that every time you find one of those new weapons, no matter co how cool they are, uh, if you're in the middle of like a goblin camp trying to fight goblins and one of them drops a cool axe, the axe is basically going to be useless to you right there, and it's not going to be like switching to it, even if it's a higher level weapon, doesn't do any damage because you have level zero axes. Um, and that doesn't feel very good, especially with some of the more rare weapons like gauntlets or scythes um, later in the game, especially when you're like level 25 in a weapon and then you find a new weapon that maybe you're interested in using like a bow or something, but you have no skills in it, which means you have to go basically back to the very beginning of the game and level that up again, which doesn't feel great. Um, we love the idea that you can do those things, that you can switch or mix and match your, your build and, and level up different things at different times. And the more you use a certain weapon, the better you get with it. Uh, but it doesn't feel great when there's such a low chance to find that one weapon you want uh, out of all the different weapon types there are. So, Lewis, explain in the in the this the best way possible so no one hates us how we're planning on grouping these weapons together uh, to make this better. No pressure. <laughs> um, so we're looking at consolidating some of our weapon skills at the moment into what can only really be described as classes. Well, he said it, not me. I didn't say it. Yeah, I said it. I said the C word. <laughs> That's not an appropriate joke. Cut that one out. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we're looking at consolidating it into classes. And... Uh, what that means is hopefully we can, even though there's less skills, you actually have more choices, right? We're going to group things together that make sense. And that means maybe you picked up a sword, you got to, you know, a high level with swords, but then you see an axe uh, and you want to use that. Uh, if that's part of the same, like, martial weapon group, that comes under the fighter class uh, and you happen to have some fighter experience, you can then swap to that, right? Um, but we don't want to, you know, remove the opportunity for you to specialize in a, big, in a specific weapon type. Um, and, you know, this combat update is going to be very big. So, you know, we do, we'll have a few different class denominations, maybe fighter, maybe rogue. We'll work out what they're called um, when we get there. But we're bringing that in to uh, some combat abilities as well. And those might be um, things that you can mix and match with, uh, with weapons and, and you can start to build up a specialization. Yeah, that's something I'm really excited about, actually. Um, because like, while we're adding classes in, I know a lot of people are like, oh, what, you're gonna add classes? This game was supposed to be like, you know, no, a classless game and everything. And yeah, it was. Um, but the classes, I think, are actually going to add a lot more versatility to you as a player um, and a lot more freedom to really play how you want. Because originally, um, we were going to we were planning on adding an ability tree or an, uh, abilities in the first place. But now with the new class system, it means that when you level up that class and you unlock new abilities, it um, you might unlock an axe ability while you're leveling up the, the the class with swords, and then later on you can use that axe ability. Um, when you switch to axes or whatever, but also it means that if you level up, say, um, Ranger or Rogue or whatever we decide to call the different classes, um, you can take those those fighter abilities that you leveled up earlier and bring them into your kit. And now you can use a fighter ability with a Rogue ability or a Ranger ability. And then you can mix and match how your, your loadout works or, or, your, or mix and match your loadout and change how you play the game, basically. Yeah, because like you can... 
you might be like a level 20 rogue and a level 10 fighter, right? So you can specialize within the rogue tree. Maybe you focus on daggers, maybe you focus on slingshots, whatever. Uh, but then when you start to build up some of those fighter skills, maybe you have a sword in your other hand, right? Um, you can start to mix and match and it, we're hoping that it really opens up the doors for like almost combat theory crafting where you can approach it in an accessible manner, you know, swing sword, get experience, or you can really think carefully about the, the build that you make. Yeah. And if you mix and match that with the, 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 the basic like swing combo system, uh, you can, we can really do a lot of interesting things with it and make combat way more dynamic than it was before. And, and on top of that, we're also going to be com completely revamping our shield system. Yeah. Uh, so the entire, so the shield will actually have its own skill tree as well, or its own, yeah, its own skill and its own abilities to go along with it. Uh, and shields will actually be able to block all damage when they're held up instead of just a portion now. Uh, and when you block that full damage, you'll take some potentially like some temporary durability damage or something to the shield. Um, which will eventually maybe force you to put the shield down for a minute if you've taken too much damage uh, for a, a short cooldown. Uh, but you'll also, if you parry correctly, which currently just blocks all damage, but if you parry correctly with the new shield system, you'll actually trigger an effect that the shield has built onto it, like it could be some sort of Thorns ability where you just deal damage back, or it could be something enchanted like fire or something which triggers and then lights the enemy on fire at that time. So what that really means is that you can dual wield shields now which I'm so excited for that to finally be viable. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. So, um, yeah, and then on top of the abilities, uh, we're also planning on, so I think we've, we've mixed, or we've, we've kind of uh, combined all, the, all of our skills down into six different core classes. Um, and this could change, we're, we're not 100% on this yet. Uh, but three of those classes are actually magic users and three are martial uh, combat classes. Uh, and so we plan on having a, a mostly DPS class or DPS mage build, a healer build or it's like, um, yeah, healer build, but also uh, it's it can do some DPS as well. And then we also have a sort of like right in the middle, which is going to be like a support class, uh, which includes things like summoning as well as buffs and, and things like that. So we're pretty excited about magic and then magic will work much in the same way as the weapon abilities where you'll unlock them as you level up and then those abilities will be spells and some of those spells might be um, pretty simple and some could be we have a whole system planned for like comboing those spells like the same spell together um, or, or repeatedly casting the same spell uh, within a certain amount of time in order to manipulate that spell and change it a little bit to do more damage or uh, a bigger like more range or completely change the spell entirely. Nice. Yeah, I'm excited for these uh, these combat abilities to really open the doors um, for some of the changes we've wanted to make it to magic for a long time. But also, you know, it's just going to make the existing combat stuff so much better. Definitely. Yeah. Um, what else? So we can we can also touch on how our uh, I guess our hotbar is going to change. Unless I'm missing something. We we missed something. Um, not sure. Not sure. But the hotbar is a good one. Um, you know, this whole combat update uh, is going to have some big changes like the combat abilities and so on and so forth, but it's also a chance for us to address some smaller things. Um, although I guess the, the hotbar isn't necessarily a small thing, it's something that people have been asking to change for a long time. Yeah. Uh, the current hotbar has four slots, which is simply not enough, um, so we're looking into uh, options in that area. Do you want to explain them? Sure. So the current hotbar is a four slot system at the bottom of the screen. And I think our plan is to get rid of that almost entirely and turn it into more of a quick slot system, which will be a radial menu that can pop up when you hold down a key or press a key or toggle or something. Um, uh, and then when that pops up, you'll be able to basically use the, an, your analog stick or your mouse to, to hover over something and then left click or right click or a left trigger and right trigger to decide which weapon or which hand to equip your weapon into, um, which will eliminate some of the confusing left or right hand equipping from your hotbar currently. Um, and then obviously if it's a potion or something, it'll just use the, the potion there when you click, uh, regardless of which hand you click with. Um, and then on top of that, we also have another another system plan to expand that hotbar. So maybe we'll start with four or maybe six hot, uh, hot slots or quick slots on this on this wheel. 
And then uh, as you equip things like backpacks, for example, is a good spot for it, uh, you'll find a new stat called pockets. And that pockets stat will basically add another slot to the quick slot menu. So what that means is instead of giving players 16 slots right off the bat and having it really overwhelming or something, um, we also have a little bit of limitations there built in so players can start the game and grow by expanding their hot, their quick slots um, so they don't have a bunch of things to choose from right in the beginning and they can kind of grow with their loadout and find out what they like. And then when they're like, I really need this thing on my quick slot, then they can, you know, obviously unlock that by getting more pockets. Yeah, I really like that design. It, it feels kind of novel and, um, and neat, I guess. Yeah, it's fun. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, that's that's a so this is a big update we're, we're working on for the next few months. Uh, and in, in addition to that, we're also working on the Windless Woods zone, which is north of the farmlands currently. Um, and this zone will be we're focusing heavily on the quest line in this zone. And we're doing a lot of like planning, which we haven't really done in the past. So we're really excited about seeing how this turns out and seeing what a lot more planning and a lot more time put into the like the quest layout uh, will we'll do. Um, yeah, so th they'll come out together probably. So players who are already in the game will have a whole new zone to try out all these abilities in and test them out. Um, potentially a boss maybe might show up in that zone. We'll see what happens. Uh, and then for players who are new to the game and trying out the abilities, they'll be able to play through the whole thing with their, with the new ability system, which will be really exciting and fun to see, uh, which might require a little more balancing in previous uh, zones as well, because it might be a lot easier to, to go through or burn through a whole group of boars now with the abilities. Um, yeah, all the combat stuff is uh, is early days right now. It's all going to need prototyping and a lot of feedback from the community. So, Yep, definitely. Uh, so yeah, that's coming in the next couple of months. Um, until then, we do have one more exciting announcement, though. Um, we're we're currently in the midst of getting approval for our soundtrack, actually which has been denied, but um, <laughs> I'll be resubmitting it here soon and we should get approval soon. And then I think it needs to be on the store page for two weeks as coming soon. So uh, if you're a Kickstarter backer, you'll be getting a key any day now, uh, or you might already have your key by the time this comes out. Uh, and then if you are not a Kickstarter backer and you want to support us through the sound through a soundtrack sale, that would be amazing. And you can check that out on Steam. Uh, and I think that should be available by the end of the month, but you can go in and wishlist it now, I imagine. It should be up by, by the time you, you see this video. So, um... Soundtrack on Steam. It's exciting. I can't wait to use the music for my streams. Yes. Oh, and that's, yeah, I guess that's a that's another cool thing about it. Um, we are obviously, it's, it's a video game, so obviously we're not going to um, be flagging anyone for using the video or the, the music in their, in their content about the game, so... Um, that'll be really fun. So I guess that's everything. Nice one. Lewis, Joe, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and helping me with the devlog. Appreciate it. Yeah, of course. And uh, we can't wait for you guys to try the new update. Uh, go check out the game now. It's live on Steam. Yeah, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a review. <laughs> oh, yeah. Give us those theme reviews. They're so valuable and so important for visibility. Please do. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment below. Uh, let us know what you're excited about for the new update. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.